Hi, this is Preeta and you're watching Dakshin Curry. Today for a change, I want to move away from Tam Bram cooking and do something which is related to Karnataka. Yeah, today I'll be making something called as Bisi Sasue. Yeah, yeah, I am not talking about mother-in-laws here. This is a gravy recipe and to know what Bisi Sasue is, you need to stay tuned. So like I told you, Bisi Sasue. So Bisi means hot and Sasue means mustard. So you must have noticed the main flavour is going to come from the mustard. The quantity used is really less but it goes a long way. Let's see how what the ingredients are. Here I have around 4 to 5 dried red chilies. I have a teaspoon of mustard. I have some methi seeds. I'm going to be using 1 8 teaspoon of roasted fenugreek seeds or methi seeds and around 1 fourth cup of coconut. Now we need to blend these four and make it into a nice paste. I have this paste here ready and as you can see, you can see specks of mustard in this. It's nicely ground but the black tint will always be there. Apart from that, the other ingredients are we're using one and a half tablespoons of cooking oil, a little bit of water for cooking the vegetables and here I have a combination of vegetables. I'll be using a little bit of okra or lady fingers, a little bit of pumpkin, around one fourth cup of each and around one third cup of brinjols and ash god, that is surang. So let us see, now apart from that, we also be uh, needing a little bit of heat dissolved in water and some curry leaves. So let's not waste time, let's cook. So I have a pan here and I'm going to heat this up. And the first thing to do is to add oil. Now you can play around with the vegetables. You know, you can change the combination of vegetables if you don't want to use red pumpkin, you want to use peta or probably you want to use potatoes, or sweet potatoes. Just go ahead and do that. So even though I've used mustard, raw mustard in making the paste, I'll still be using some for the tadka. So around a teaspoon, a little more than a teaspoon, I love mustard. And we'll allow this to crackle. And at this time, what we're going to do is add a little bit of curry leaves. And I'll start adding the vegetables. Now because I'm using okra in this recipe, what I'll be doing is, I want to ensure that the end product is not slimy. And one way of ensuring that is, cook this, as you know, that bindi does not take a lot of time to cook. We will just saute this for a while or two, till you know all that slime kind of gets sealed. And then we'll add the rest of the vegetables. Because if I'm going to add the rest of the vegetables at this stage, and add the water, what's going to happen is, it's going to get slimy and we don't want that. The gravy um, was taught to be by my sister-in-law. I must thank her for that. And she told me that a classic accompaniment for this would be puris or chapatis. Now, as you can see, it's kind of getting tender. Now, I'll add the rest of the vegetables. I have some ash god here. Pumpkin and some bangan, ginger. Give this a quick stir. This is one of the very few recipes where I have noticed that there is no use of turmeric. You must have noticed that. So the paste is going to give color, the rice red chilies are going to give it color, and the flavor absolutely is going to come from the mustard. So. Let's saute this. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to add a little bit of heeng now. You know, add the rest of the heeng later. And just quickly saute this for a minute. And I guess, you know, uh, this paste, you know, if you, go, if you want to refrigerate it, you can also do that. Just place it in a nice sterilized glass container and refrigerate it, it will stay fresh for a couple of days. But obviously, freshly ground paste will always have a different flavor. If you are going to add a paste which has been refrigerated, just ensure to thaw it, let it come down to room temperature and then use it. 
Okay, now this has sauteed. Now we want to cook these vegetables because there's pumpkin. There's also ash gourd, which is going to take a maximum time to cook. Let's add water. Now we don't want to add too much water. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cover and cook this, and I'll be adding a little bit of salt. Oops! I just realized that I forgot the most important ingredient: the seasoning salt. Guys, don't forget to use salt. Salt is the primary ingredient. That's what brings out the flavors. We'll be adding a little bit of salt. Happens, happens to everybody at times. So a little bit of salt. I'll be adding the rest of the salt later. And I'm going to cover and cook this till the vegetables are nice and soft. Now this should take a good five minutes, not more than that, because the quantity is also less. And as you know, okra and pumpkin and even even brinjal is not going to take maximum time. It's the ash gourd which is going to take time. So let's wait for a while and allow this to cook. Let's have a look at how our vegetables are doing. Ah, as you can see, you know, the water is kind of absorbed. There's still a little bit of water. You can see the pumpkins are nice and soft. You don't even have to. Check, you know. Let's see. Pumpkins are nice and soft. Obviously, the brinjal is done. Let's check on the ash gourd. Hmm, this is still half done. You know, it's just roughly cooked, and that's okay because we'll be adding the paste now, and we are going to simmer it. So that much time would be enough for the ash gourd to get completely cooked. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to add this paste that we have made. nice and creamy now i'll add a little bit of water in this and just boil the same add the remaining hing water that we had give this a quick mix and as you know i added a little bit of salt earlier when the vegetables were cooking i have not added any salt in the paste So I'll be adding a little bit of salt, and then I'll be checking. And you know when this is bubbling away, when this is simmering, ensure that this does not boil the simmer. So I'm going to reduce the flame here now. I'm going to add a little bit of salt. Be a little easy on the salt. It's okay to taste all blazing guns with the amount of salt, and then realizing that the salt is too much. So let us check for the salt. still going to reduce hmm the salt is nice and i'm getting this nice um nutty flavor of mustard nice spicy flavor of the red chilies and this is aroma the raw aroma of mustard is just completely different you have to make this and see and as and when this is going to simmer the flavor is just going to get intense so let's wait for this gravy to simmer for around 4 to 5 minutes till ash gourd also gets completely cooked and then we are ready to serve this as you can see busy sasuve is ready to serve you have to make this i am sure there are many people who do not like the flavor of raw mustard but trust me you have to try it please try this at least for my sake and i am waiting for your feedback on this recipe and do not forget to subscribe to india food network until next time it's preeta signing off